Hey guys, welcome back to Ent Edu Pinion. Today we're going to be looking at a Mark II Savage FVSR inside of a Boyd's AT1 stock. On top we have a Diamondback Tactical Vortex Optic. On the front we've got a Mask 22 from Dead Air. And we've got a knockoff Harris tripod bipod on the front. We're going to be shooting two different rounds. We're going to be shooting the Aguilar Super Maximum and then the Subsonic Solid Point. So we're going to do the Super Maximum first. With this guy, you got to keep the bolt back when inserting a new fully loaded magazine. Otherwise, you will not be able to chamber or seat the magazine. So here we go. Shoot off this board at a short range rifle target since it's the noisiest one and the zeros for subsonic so I'm gonna have to hold under there we go interesting malfunction up oh, nope just me Holding for subsonic, correcting again. Oh, just lost one of our mags. Sick. So again, these are super maximum and they're traveling at, let's see how fast they are. I guess I'll have to do a chrono on these because at least on the box, it doesn't tell me. All right, let's finish off these rounds. That was the last one. Yep. All right, now for some subsonic solid point. Again, bolt back. Goes in. I haven't found an ammo that this thing doesn't shoot so far. Uh, the reason it's in the Boyd's AT1 stock is due to the fact that the factory stock once you get your cheek on the butt stock and your cheek weld pressure moves the entire uh, stock the chassis touches the barrel and then your accuracy goes to uh, somewhere it's, it's not there so these are uh, subsonic so you should be able to tell a significant difference in volume there we go Box down. Empty? Nope. That's empty. All right, so yeah. Pretty lightweight. The wood stock is definitely heavier than the OEM from the factory for the Savage Mark II FESR, but this AT1 stock is uh, pretty awesome. And uh, all you need to do is buy the stock and the trigger guard kit, which comes with this screw, that back screw, but then these two come from the factory OEM and they do work with this wood stock. Uh, this part is elongated and optional, but it definitely is uh, a nice upgrade from the one that you get with the stock. It has no uh, anti-slip grip stuff. This one does, and it feels way better in your hand. So if you're thinking about getting one of these, it's pretty nice. And a quick look at actuating the uh, length of pull. So there's two buttons, one's for cheek riser, for adjusting for how big your damn skull is. So by pushing in, you can collapse that. 
And uh, since we don't have anything in there, put on safe and it's empty. Okay, now I'm gonna show you how this works. Push it within and then it goes down or it's a little tougher to pull up, especially when I'm holding it like this, but uh, it definitely comes back up. <laughs> Let me see if I can get that done for you guys by resting the front, pulling it up. You won't be able to see this part. Oop. It gets stuck there, but there we go. Back up, locks into place, butt plate, same thing. Push on it. This one's a bit smoother. Definitely have to put a lot of pressure with your thumb on this guy, but apparently that's intentional per the website. But yeah, that's a quick look at the Savage Mark II FVSR. 22LR in the Boyd's AT1 stock. I was looking for that Boyd's tactical one, but I guess they stopped making it. And honestly, this one looks way better, feels better. I'm assuming I've never fired or held the other one, but better than a bare wood stock. Thanks uh, for uh, viewing, and uh, we'll be having more content for you guys to look at cool stuff and uh, have fun with us.